Yamish, uh, you had an exchange with the president on Friday that made a lot of news. Uh, here first is Kristen Welker's question that set up your follow-up question. Let's take a look. Dr. Fauci said earlier this week that the lag in testing was, in fact, a failing. Do you take responsibility for that? And when can you guarantee that every single American who needs a test will be able to have a test? What's the date of that? Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a uh, a set of circumstances and we were given rules, regulations and specifications from a different time. Uh, it wasn't meant for this kind of uh, an event uh, with the kind of numbers that we're talking about. You said that you don't take responsibility, but you did disband the White House pandemic office and the officials that were working in that office left this administration abruptly. So what responsibility do you take to that? And the officials that worked in that office said that you that the White House lost valuable time because that office wasn't disbanded. What do you make of that? Well, I just think it's a nasty question, because what we've done is uh, and Tony had said numerous times that uh, we've saved thousands of lives because of the quick closing. Uh, and when you say me, I didn't do it. Uh, we have a group of people. I could I could ask perhaps my administration, but I could perhaps ask uh, Tony about that because I, I don't know anything about it. You know, you just wonder what's wrong with him. A lot of people, Yamish, think he's just blatantly racist and sexist when he says things like that's a nasty question. And he always seems to have a problem with you, uh, which is it's just incredible. And it's worth pointing out. Um, but to your point and to your very good question, he did shut down that office. Uh, he announced it a while back himself. Uh, we were left flat footed without the proper scientists in charge. Correct. That's right. The White House under President Obama had this office that was de that was to deal specifically with pandemics. They were going to be monitoring the entire world to look out for things like polio outbreaks or SARS. And the Trump administration in 2018 disbanded that office. Uh, officials left the administration abruptly. Those people were not replaced. And then the president continued to, to go on as if it was OK. This happened under John Bolton, his national security advisor. And the president now is saying that he had no idea if that why that happened and and didn't have any idea or any responsibility for that happening. Of course, again, this was his administration. But Mika, what this moment really calls for is credibility and leadership and compassion. And unfortunately, a lot of people think President Trump just isn't showing that you have compassion in the fact that there are people that are so scared that are crying that want to go visit their neighbors and can't do that. And you have a president who starts his last press conference talking about the Fed cutting rates. You have a president who is saying everything's under control. We're going to get through this. And his top health officials are saying, look, we do not have this under control. We don't know when this is going to peak. And we're worried that people are going out there and not taking this as seriously as they need to. And then you have local governments saying we need direction from the White House. We need to know, should we be closing bars? Should we be closing schools? And the president has not yet told them that. So this leadership vacuum is leaving state officials to do whatever they can. But to get back to the original point, what you have here is a president who is really left flat footed and who is struggling to deal with this coronavirus outbreak and really find the compassion and the credibility needed in this moment.